Hello, uh, another quick review. Well, not really a review, more of an unboxing. This is the Sonos Roam. It's got a nice little case. Feels very recycled, very green. Um, this is their second portable speaker. It's a portable speaker, uh, the portable smart speaker, sorry, for listening at home and on the go. So um, there's a the Sonos Move, obviously. That's pretty big. Um, probably too big to be classed as really portable. Yes, you can carry it and move it around, but you can move it to your garden, you can move it back into your house. Uh, moving it anywhere else, I mean, it's so big, it's a bit of a pain. You can't really slip it in a rucksack or anything like that. Um, well, you could, but you just couldn't fit anything else in there. So that's why they've released this. This is um, much smaller, so you can chuck it in a rucksack. Let's have a look. Nice box, yeah, very green. That's what all the companies are doing these days, aren't they? Everything's being made out of recycled cardboard. So here it is. It's wrapped up in a similar way to, well, very similar way to, exact, exactly the same way as their uh, Sonos Arc. Comes this nice little cloth. Oh, that sticker's stuck. And here it is. So this is a black one, obviously. Um, I'd rather the logo wasn't white. With the arc, the logo is black as well. So it's, it didn't really stand out. I guess maybe because they wanted to, it to be portable, they knew lots of people would be seeing it. They wanted to make sure everyone knew exactly who makes it. The Sonos one is white on white, I think. Um, but yeah, it looks nice. So, let's move these out of the way. What have we got here then? Got something that you can stand up like that, and on the top it's got a microphone button. Uh, I'll mute and unmute it, play pause, and volume up and down. And these aren't um, touch sensitive buttons, they're clicky buttons, so you can't press them accidentally. Well, you could, probably could, but you're uh, less likely to happen than with a touch one. If you just grab it and accidentally swipe the volume up really loud, that wouldn't be too great. So these you actually have to press them. It's quite a hard press, so I can't imagine you'd do it accidentally. On the bottom, nothing. This is where the uh, QI charging would be. So if you got the QI charger, I didn't, but if you got it, you put it on there and it would charge. So this is the, up way, uh, the right way around and there's the volume. Buttons and everything like that, play balls. Um, little nub down here to let you know that you can put it this way around so you can have it horizontal. Um, that's about it. Button here. So this is a multi-function button. I think one press puts it to sleep Hold it down for a certain amount of time and it does this and so hold it down for a little bit longer and it does this. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. We'll find out. USB-C. So let me just try and find something for scale. Uh, all I've got to hand is a book. Harry Potter book, not mine. Um, smaller than a book. I think it is. It's almost too small. So you've got the Sonos Move, which I think is too big, and this, which is probably too small. The trouble is something too small is um, you never get a decent bass out of it. I'm sure the bass will be okay, but it's never going to be great. But, you know, I mean, it fits in your hand easily. You can chuck it in your bag easily. You could attach it to your bike or whatever if you wanted to be one of those kind of persons, but I'm not. What else comes in the box? Let's get started. Cable. USB, standard USB to USB-C. And you see here it's got a right angle. So when you plug it in, it's flush against the back. Nice little touch, nice. Let's get started. Set up if I can get it out. All the packaging is really nice. Typical Sonos styling, really. One, press the power button. Two, download the Sonos app. And there is no three. Help on the back, mostly. Yeah, it looks like that's all in foreign languages there. Uh. So, 
so this is it at a glance. Bluetooth, that's the main feature of this really. I mean, it's got your Wi-Fi, but you can also stream over Bluetooth as well. Bluetooth, press and hold the power button to hear the pairing tone. That would mean you, uh, that will let you pair it to something. Play, pause, next track, previous track, group or swap. Press and hold to group Sonos products. Continue holding to swap audio between them. And then the microphone, press and hold for voice assistance. So with a group or swap, um, that's quite good. So if you're playing something on near here, and then you, you're playing it outside, and then you come inside, press and hold, continue holding to swap audio between them. So if you have another Sonos product, like an Arc in your living room, press down the play pause button, and it will swap the music from the Roam over to the Arc. Handy. Assuming it works, I'm sure it will. What else have we got in here? Important product information, so this is all just a legal bump. All right, interesting. Let's see how it e Oh, well, firstly, I guess we need to see how easy it is to set up. Let's do that now. Um, unless I'm being really stupid, there is no uh, mains plug that comes with it. So you get the USB cable, but they're a bit tight. They don't give away an actual plug for you to plug it in. So you have to use one that you've already got. Um, I've got a cable that's currently going into the wall here, so I'm just going to use this for now. Let's plug it in. There's a red light down there, so it's powering up. White light flashing there now, so it's just still booting. Now on my phone, let's open the Sonos app and where do we go? We probably want to go to System Add Product, our location. Searching for nearby products, so it's having a look and see if it finds it. Sonos Roam found. Getting it ready. Passcode printer in Sonos Roam is work hard. Use, use microphone, oh that's handy. This is what I like about Sonos products. So easy to set up. No hassle with them like you get with certain other smart products. No, it's probably not gonna work now, I've said that. Update, oh, never mind. So, um, this update will take a few minutes. I won't let you sit through all this. We'll come back and I'll go to another room where we have another Sonos product so we can um, see how good it is at passing the audio. Right, so I've moved to another room. This room has uh, Sonos Arc in it, which is nice. In the meantime, I've actually played some music on this and I'm very impressed. Uh, I thought it would be a bit, a bit weak, a bit, um, what's the word, a bit tinny. But no, it wasn't. It, the bass is surprisingly decent considering the size. So I'm very impressed. Can't decide which way it looks nicer. I mean, it looks nice both ways, to be honest. Probably better to have it this way around because it's easier to press the buttons. Because obviously there's a resistance from whatever it's sat on. Have it this way, to push the buttons. You can't do it without holding it. So you've got to hold it and press a button and then it'll work. This way around. And just hit it straight away. Got a decent enough weight to it considering the size. It's got a, a nice weight. Not too heavy. It could probably do with being a bit heavier, but on the whole it's fine. If you're carrying it around a lot, I guess you don't want it too heavy. Anyway, so let's have a look on the app. <laughs> so there's the living room. And here's the study. I'll put some, hopefully, some uh, royalty-free music on there so it won't just block the video. You won't really get an idea of what it sounds like over whatever speakers you're using, but just to give you an idea. So play pause. Double tap, skips a track, skips forward. Three taps goes backwards. 
and then volume up and down. The mic is muted. Mute the microphone. The mic's back on. I was hoping you could hold this down for a few seconds to activate Google, um, uh, what you call it, Google Assistant. The system. mic is muted. But it doesn't work, so you have to use the, the Hey Google command. Cancel. Right, so, here are the main ways to play music on it. Play pause up on here, we'll just play whatever you've been playing on your Sonos. You can also do that from the app. Let me just start recording my screen. So, again, I'm just playing music that hopefully won't be uh, copyrighted. Play pause as normal. And you can also group that with other devices. Now play it everywhere. Pause that. Let's ungroup it for now. Oops. The other way is to connect to a Bluetooth. So let's have a look. Play a new device. Hold down the power button for a few seconds, Barry, and then it starts appearing. Let's see here. Right, hear that little chime? That must be the Bluetooth pairing chime. So hopefully now we see it in this list. Oh, there it is, study. Pair. That's connected. So now, if I go into YouTube Music, Now playing over the Sonos. Still can't see it here because it's not Google Cast, but check my Bluetooth here. See it's connected. Disconnect there. Plays on my phone. Now if you go into Bluetooth again. Yeah, it's reconnected. So it remembers the device you connected to. Not sure how many devices it can remember. That'll be interesting, whether it supports more than one, hopefully up to ten or so, that's all you need. Now, what you, the good thing about this is, when you're Bluetooth sharing to the Sonos Roam, you can go into the Sonos app. Here it is, you can see it sharing here. I hear it playing there. You can then cast it from there. Well, not cast it, but you can then group it with other rooms in your Sonos setup. So this means you can play something over Bluetooth to all of your Sonos speakers without any issues. That's useful if, say, you have a Bluetooth um, record player and you don't have a Sonos 5 or any other Sonos with a line in. You can now do it over the Roam. Very handy. And then to take it off Bluetooth, you just hold that button down again. Do you hear that little chime? And then it's off Bluetooth and then back to standard Wi-Fi. Um, press it once and let go and it'll put it to sleep. So that's, that's, that'll save you a bit of power. Press it again, turns back on. Hold it down for about five seconds, I think it is, and it'll turn it off completely. So not in sleep, it'll properly turn the power off. So that's if you're not going to use it for a while. There we go, that's off. From there, to turn it on, you just press the power button. It does take a bit longer to turn on, obviously, because it was in a proper off mode. But yeah, do that if you're not, if you're not gonna use it for a while. That's about it. Very happy with it on the whole. I think it'll be useful. And um, if I am gonna you know, get a record player, I think I'll just play it through here, grouped in my other devices instead of buying a the Play 5 or whatever else you'd need to buy to make that work because that's quite an investment compared to this which is yeah, 160, 170 pounds. Like I said, very impressed with the sound actually, considering the size and the looks. I mean, it looks like a modern Sonos device. So it all looks uh, very Sonos-y. 
have a look at it next to the Thomas Ark. See what I mean about Thomas Ark with the uh, matte black logo compared to the black and white. I prefer the black and black, but I can kind of understand why they've done it, I'm guessing, because like I said, they want people to see that Sonos logo when you're out and about. Right, any questions? Let me know.